First reading A reading from the Acts of the Apostles Chapter 7 verse 51 and chapter 8 verse 1 You stiff-necked people, uncircumcised in heart and ears, you are forever opposing the Holy Spirit, just as your ancestors used to do. Which of the prophets did your ancestors not persecute? They killed those who foretold the coming of the righteous one. And now you have become his betrayers and murderers. You are the ones that received the law as ordained by angels, and yet you have not kept it. When they heard these things, they became enraged and ground their teeth at Stephen. But filled with the Holy Spirit, he gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. Look, he said, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they covered their ears and with a loud shout all rushed together against him. Then they dragged him out of the city and began to stone him. And the witnesses laid their coats at the feet of a young man named Saul. While they were stoning Stephen, he prayed, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he knelt down and cried out in a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. When he had said this, he died, and Saul approved of their killing him. That day a severe persecution began against the church in Jerusalem and all except the apostles were scattered throughout the countryside of Judea and Samaria. The Word of the Lord Today, we see for proofs in order to believe. If it is tried and tested, we would surely accept it without any hesitation. But when it comes to faith, can we have empirical reasons? Can we reason out our faith? Let us move on to the Word of God. The Holy Gospel according to St. John. They replied, What miracle will you perform so that we may see it and believe you? What will you do? Our ancestors ate manna in the desert. Just as the scripture says, He gave them bread from heaven to eat. I am telling you the truth. Jesus said, What Moses gave you was not bread from heaven. It is my Father who gives you the real bread from heaven. For the bread that God gives is he who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Sir, they asked him, Give us this bread always. I am the bread of life. Jesus told them, Those who come to me will never be hungry. Those who believe in me will never be thirsty. The Gospel of the Lord. Today, some of the younger ones of today's generation finds it difficult to believe in Jesus, to be a true believer. In fact, they give less prominence to faith 
and they give more prominence to reason. My dear friends in Jesus Christ, today in the gospel we see the Jews asking Jesus for a sign to believe in him. And today's society is asking us Christians, how do you believe that the risen Lord is present among us? How can you believe in a risen Lord? My dear friends in Jesus Christ, it is not our duty to reason out our faith to those who are not willing to believe in what we see. Even during the time of Jesus, the chief priest of the Jews did not want to believe in Jesus. Therefore, whatever miracle he did, whatever teaching he did, was denied by the chief priests and the authorities of the Jewish community. Faith is always a gift from God. And today, in the first reading, we read about the first martyr, Saint Stephen. In fact, in front of the Sanhedrin, he stands straight in order to stand for his faith. In fact, it is important to consider about his example in standing for Jesus, living out Jesus' mission in his life. He was not disturbed by the social pressure that was among him, but he was filled by the Holy Spirit. He was nourished by the heavenly bread. He didn't want any reasons to believe in Jesus. My dear friends in Jesus Christ, if you and I are filled with the Holy Spirit, if you and I are nourished by the heavenly bread, we don't need any other reasons to be a believer. We don't need reasons to reason out our faith. My dear friends in Jesus Christ, today let us meditate on our stand. Where do we stand in our faith journey? Let us ponder over it. God bless you.